it's Kayla and this is on the fritz where I talk about books and you know so today I'm going to be doing a tag I'm doing the get to know the romance reader book tag okay so question one is to talk about your romance origin story and I'm planning on doing a video all about this but short answer is I started reading romance December 2018 so I'm still new to the game and my first read, I'm pretty sure, was A Hunger Like No Other by Cressley Cole, which is a Faded Mates, Paranormal Romance, Alpha Male, and I gave it three stars. I, it, it was very hot, but it was very problematic reading that in 2018, more or less, or at least like borderline. Anyways, I continued on with that series and it just got better and better and I also started this side changeling series recommended to me by Nicole and that one was a good transitional book for me just because that series is about like 50% romance and 50% like plot and world building like there's a lot of substance to that series and so once I kind of got used to like the formula and the world of paranormal romance <clears throat> then the books just got better and better and better. So that's my story and why I picked it up. I was just in the mood. I, I had a couple friends here on booktube that would talk about romance books. And I was always like, oh, you know, that sounds good, but I don't read, I'm not a romance reader. I don't read romance. Even though in a lot of the fantasy and sci-fi books I read, I really did enjoy the romance in it. So, I couldn't really tell you why I finally picked it up. I think it was just because it was holiday break time and I was just in the mood for something like romance and here we are. I can't stop reading romance and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Okay, next question is to if you were a heroine in a romance novel, what author would you want to write your story and what trope would you insist on being there? So. This one's hard, but I think I would love to be in the Immortals After Dark series written by Cressley Cole. Like I want to be a paranormal person. I'm not really sure which one I'd want to be, but I want to be in that world and I don't want to be human, at least not 100% human. And I want, obviously, something that's in every single one of those books is the Faded Mate trope. There's just something about Faded Mates in Paranormal Romance is just bread and butter for me um, and I feel like you can kind of get away with more things just because they are destined Faded Mates and I just I just like it. It's uh, comfort food for me so that's what I would want to be. Okay question three is what is a romance you've read this year that you want more people to read since it is the beginning of February? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say uh, Treasure from the Abyss by Tiffany Roberts. I love this. This is an alien sci-fi alien romance book and it is so good. Like it's a little weird because there's tentacles and stuff but uh, if you like alien romance this is definitely um, you should try it. If you've never read an alien romance, I don't recommend starting here, but if you are a seasoned alien romance person, <clears throat> definitely put this on your TBR. Uh, the world building is awesome, and then obviously the romance is great in the weirdest way. It exists, and you should read it. Okay, so question four is what is your favorite romance subgenre and which one have you read the least from? So my favorite is paranormal romance. Alien romance is a close second. And my least read would be dark romance. I don't think I've read, no I've read like one dark romance. So I think dark romance is something I haven't read a lot of. I'm Planning on reading more is just something I just haven't gotten there yet. Uh, question five is who are your autobi authors? Uh, Ruby Dixon, like 
I'm to the point where Ruby Dixon book comes out and I will actually buy it. I'm a big library reader and uh, the only books of hers that we have at the library are her audiobooks through Hoopla and her audiobooks come out months and months after the book releases and since I'm caught up on three of her series, four of her, four of her series, uh, now that the books come out I'm to the point where I can spend three, four ninety nine dollars on her books because they are well worth it. Okay, question six is where do you find your romance recommendations? So it used to be YouTube and then it transitioned YouTube and then Goodreads and then it transitioned to Instagram. There's so much uh, recommendations on Instagram, it's awesome. But my most recent place is Facebook. So for some reason, uh, I decided to see if there was a group on Facebook for um, Ruby Dixon's Ice Planet Barbarians series, and there is. So if you like her or you like her series, uh, I'll have it linked down below. You have to like, it's like legit, like you have to verify that you've read her books or you know, you have to tell them what books of hers that you've read. And it's just full of members that love the books. We talk about what we're currently reading and her new books that come out. And there, during December, there was a lot of like games and giveaways and there's still like on occasion games and giveaways for like audiobooks and eBooks. And then so through that, there's a, a group, Facebook group that's called Not Ruby Rex. And it's a place full of recommendations on alien romance books that aren't Ruby Dixon. And so that is where I'm just like swimming and having fun. And there's so many awesome romances on there that are for sci-fi alien romance. Okay, question seven is what is, an, what is an upcoming romance book that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to Sworn to the Shadow God by Ruby Dixon. This is book two in her high fantasy romance series that doesn't have a catchy name to it yet. Uh, the first one was Bound to the Battle God. The series is just high fantasy romance with gods and humans and it's good. Uh, question eight is what is one romance reading misconception that you want to lay to rest? Um, maybe a common misconception might be that romance readers are lonely old ladies and I mean I'm 30 so I'm not that old but I'm probably old to a lot of people at the same time and I'm happily married and I have a daughter and so for me reading romance actually like helped my mental health um it's kind of I don't know reading romance puts me in a better headspace which helps out in my personal life in my family life so not all romance readers are old lonely women if that's still a thing that people think Question nine is to shout out some romance readers. And so I'm gonna shout out a few on Instagram that I've recently followed, and then a few on YouTube that I've recently followed. So on Instagram, there's Ashton Reads. She is one that posts almost daily the different free eBooks that are available on Amazon. There's Brianna Cooper on Instagram, and Blue Eyed Books on Instagram. Okay, so for YouTube, I'm gonna say Kendra Loves Books, Steeped in Books, JRS Book Reads, and I'm gonna go with an OG romance reader that I don't hear a lot of people talk about, is Nicolette over at Falling Over Books. I've been watching her for a long time and she's really only reads romance. And <laughs> so again, a good example of me watching romance booktube before I've ever even read romance. Okay, and the final question is to recommend three romance books to someone just getting into romance. So for Paranormal Romance, I would recommend the Side Changeling series by Nalini Singh. Like I said, it's a good equal parts romance and plot, world building, 
I think if you're a fantasy reader, I think it's kind of a good transition into the world of romance slash paranormal romance. I would also recommend the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. Uh, this is borderline paranormal romance and urban fantasy romance, urban fantasy. Again, there's equal parts romance, steamy parts, and a lot of plot and world building. And again, I think if you're familiar with urban fantasy, you like urban fantasy, I think that'd be a good one to read. That would kind of transition you into romance. And ooh, um, I would say the Winston Brothers series by Penny Reed. This is contemporary romance. I think contemporary romance is a good starting point, but if you're not a contemporary reader like me, um, I liked the paranormal romance more just because I was a fantasy and sci-fi reader anyways. Um, I think there's a lot of starting points if you are a contemporary reader, but if you're not, I personally like the Winston Brothers series. It has nothing to do with fantasy or sci-fi. Um, it is just a small town romance about a close-knit group of siblings, mostly brothers, and I'm from a small town, so maybe that's why it kind of resonates with me. I'm not sure, but very good series, and I recommend to any romance beginner. Okay, that's the tag. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found a new book or something that you might want to read, learned a bit more about me along the way, and I hope you had a great time. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.